hi did you miss me if you did i missed you too well today we're going to be talking about something we've never talked about on this channel today we're going to be working on this lady in here though a chocolate or dark skin looking lady i'm going to be showing you how to add this nice pop up beautiful chocolate everything dark skin now we are here by popular demand a lot of persons really really needed this and the closest are done to this was chadwick boozman's tutorial so i'm just gonna do this and then let you know so if you're just coming to the channel for the first time i missed you so much all right let's hit right to the intro the first thing i really 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 did was to smudge out this i want to adjust colors and i want to show you how i added colors and probably the highlight but then i want to show you now i basically smudged this first before getting to add and now i smudged this now this was what it was before and this is the smudge now before and now you can take a closer look at it before and now it's not the best smudge in the world but i mean i mean it's okay to get us going about tutorials i'm going to keep the link of the picture in the video description so you can check it out how to get that and probably follow me in the next step before i get i got to create this there are a lot of videos about how to smudge about how to create layers there are a whole lot of one hour videos but this one is directed to just the color so i, I separated the eyebrow the eyeballs eyelashes the lips i separated every single one of them now not to keep this tutorial for very long i'm going to create a new layer here I'll go to space and create create new layer and i'll clip it of course why i get to clip it is because i want anything i'm working on to be confined on that particular area right okay so i'm just going to name this yes overall color so name it overall color choose your normal brush your normal round brush because i mean your round brush is probably like everything so choose any of the round brushes and then select a color now one of the things you want to know when you're selecting a color is to be very careful I'm selecting a color like this is going to give me somewhere around here i'm just going to show you if i choose this overall color and i press alternate and backspace it's going to add a color to this i'm going to go to normal i'm going to go to color now this is what i have i feel like it's way too saturated i need something that is not as saturated as this now if i turn this off and on uh, it looks good but i don't buy it totally so maybe i can just select a color from here like this alternate and backspace now this is what i have i don't i still do not buy it so but what i usually do is i'm going to go to the previous color this one i'm going to select a color like this and drag it a little bit now i'm going to let me make this bigger so you can get to see this yeah make this bigger. i'm going to drag it all the way this way this looks a little bit yeah i prefer this so this is how it is now so i'm just going to take it back all the way i know i could have zoomed in but i still want it to be as big as possible all right so this is the color we've added on top now if i look for the color code um, i'm going to have a separate tutorial about how to get to i give you all the color codes but this is what we have now so the next thing you want to do is just add different colors to probably the hair the eyes and that before you get to add other colors so for the hair i'm going to select this i'm going to select a color above it and then name this hair color hair color now for the hair color I'm not going to turn off this and then select a color like this. It doesn't turn out well most times. So probably something like this. I'm just going to select this hair color. Where is hair? Okay, there's hair here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and click the thumbnail so that it gets to select that part. If you have not, you can use your pen tool and cut it out. But I've done that already. So alternate and backspace to add color as usual. I'll go to attribute and add color. Now this is what I have. It is tilted towards the it looks a little bit purple or off and i really do not like that so what i usually do is i'll select this normal color of the hair that is on the saturated part i'm going to drag it all the way down this way this way probably take it down a bit to be a little bit unsaturated so i'll select it back or still and i'll press alternate and backspace so i have this color this is a little bit bluish is better than the before so i can take it all the way up a bit yeah i have this now this doesn't look very very good but it doesn't look bad at all still so i can do before and now before and now before and now so you can still keep blending it but this is good because i can get to blend the colors later and then have something really nice done now this part of the hair i just merge the skin and the hair together that will be worked on a later part of the video let me just add colors on the eyebrow the lip and the eyes now for the lip what i usually do is pick a color i'm not picking the normal color from the hair or from the face 
I'm just going to probably pick a color. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I can, I can still, I can still uh, pick a color like this, and then probably name it color. Okay, this looks okay. It's not so saturated. I can just probably take it, make it a little bit unsaturated. Now, when you're working on a lady or a person that is very dark, one thing you want to be careful about is not to make the person like overly dark or overly dramatic and stuff. Yeah, this is okay. Then for the eyes and the eyebrow, I'm just going to add that to make it a little bit faster. And for the eyeballs, yes, bluish. I'm going to go to the blue part. I'll take it up, maybe somewhere around here. And I'm good. Somewhere around here, alternate and backspace will give me the color. And I'll go to attribute, I'll type color. Ah, uh, this looks too artificial. Yeah, too artificial. So let me see what the other color looked like. Okay, it looked like this. That was not so sharp but let's see this and this okay so i think the normal color that came with the picture is nice actually and yeah then the next thing is the eyelashes i think the eyelashes will make the whole picture pop up the eyelashes yeah for the eyelashes don't forget to name your layers it's a very good practice to name your layers it will just make you have control over what you are doing, a total control over what you are doing. Now for the eyelashes, the next thing I want to do is to, I usually just go over to this place. I mean, any color is for the eyeballs, I usually just go down a bit, this, around this place, a little bit on the unsaturated part, and go to alternate and backspace, and then color. Please always make sure that it's under, that the eyelashes layer is under the eyeball layer. Is very very important because the eyeball needs to be on top of the eyelashes layer so this is what we'll have and then finally for the eyebrow most times i just select the color go down here a bit not so unsaturated somewhere around here alternate and backspace and go to attribute color yeah this is good this is good some people might just leave it like this but there's a whole lot of work to be done first of all the blending so there's a professional way to blend you go to add layer mask select brush and then you do it now for fair people it's a little bit easier but for dark people i mean you probably have to blend easier so i'm just going to reduce the opacity say 70 and make it dark here select the blending option and then just paint why i use this blend sometimes of eraser is so that when you probably have an issue with with what you just blended you can always erase it back and have what you wanted to do this is what i mean i mean probably choosing white when you probably made a mistake instead of then you can just do it back do you understand you can just go back to how it was before but using the eraser tool sometimes you can just make your whole work i mean everything can literally just go off so personally i think personally i think um, this is a better more professional way to to create a non-destructive edit if that makes sense sounds like my professor yeah, so while I'm blending this, I usually do the normal thing of telling you and <laughs> telling you about how it has been. So I'm finally getting to launch my membership. Yeah, so for this, I'm just going to still add the. Uh, I'm just going to blur this out. Say, let's make opacity say 70 as well. So I'm finally getting to launch my membership. And um, I, I realized that a lot of you will need backgrounds and stuff. So I would really, really go out of my way to make sure you guys get to get it. I mean, good, sweet background. So for little, little cash, little token. So if you're a member of this community and you're watching this tutorial to this extent, oh, thank you so much for being part of the Armstrong Osas movement. If that's a movement, it's not like I'm, I'm a politician or something. But if you have been here for a while, thank you so much. I love you so much. And I would really, really encourage you to be part of the membership um, on youtube here i've i think this is going to be the first time i would really 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 want to go out of my way to um have something that people are going to pay for when it comes to smudge painting i've had communities i've had um context and those other things and never i've never really 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 wanted to get any any pay so i think this is one thing that i think a lot of you should really really key into I would really go out of my way to make sure you guys get premium things. And yeah, so basically I'm blending it and I really want you to see how I'm doing it. I'm starting with um, an opacity, not so much, say probably 50 and yeah. 
yeah that is basically what i'm doing i'm hoping this tutorial is not very long but i like going with the flow do you understand i really do not like i'm um, having a timestamp on my tutorials and i'm like okay in the next five minutes you should be this and the next two minutes you should be this so this is what we we'll have and yeah for the eyes okay so i think it was this brownish yeah just a little bit brownish so that's what we are going to do i'm just going to add this brownish here brownish feel to the eyes see yeah that is that then add a little bit of reddish to the corner of the eyes corner of the eyes is usually red sometimes but i mean this is art so you can make it dramatic not so dramatic but fair enough so this is what we have it's not bad but it's not good enough so now this is where the magic trick is if you have st stuck to this video to this extent congratulations you really 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 want to know what you are doing so the next thing i want to do is go over here and pick a color i'm going to pick this color for example and come over to this place come over okay that was a mistake come over to this place on the cheek here for example and just paint over it like this so i'm just going to add make it make, the, make it color and paint over this and uh, probably on the forehead make sure the saturation the opacity is not so much all the parts that have a little bit of such um, a little bit of light coming on it highlight i'm just going to paint over them like that yeah so i'm going to turn this off again to see what i have so i think i have a little bit of dark reddish color over here so i'm just going to add this here this dark reddish feel so i'm going to add this here and add this here. it's going to be like you're making the person up you see when you're working when you're working on things like this you want to open your mind you want to not be very rigid Sometimes you might have something that a picture that is normal and very very intrinsic by intrinsic I mean just natural but you want to give her a little bit of artistic feel but right? and still not want to break the the body line you know if that makes any sense now the next I want to add is this yellowish thing here so I can just add something here on this place on the highlight now there's one trick I usually do and that is adding a color a reddish color a little bit saturated and make it make probably make the opacity say 30 20 or thereabouts and paint over the the nose yeah but it might look like that's too much so create a new layer and say dramatic dramatic colors dramatic colors how do you get to watch long tutorials do you eat while watching them do you just watch do you watch and practice so for the dramatic colors i'm going to add this to this and select color yeah this then yeah i think this is good and you know she's a little bit fair a little bit dark so with this color i'm going to make it say 10 and on top of this i'm just going to add a little bit of dramatic color to the whole face in the whole face it's going to give her this pop-up that is going to turn out very beautiful you know she's just she's going to love it eventually if she gets to see it so basically what you have been doing since is this this is how it was before remember we added the color this was how it was before so i'm going to put this this is now the normal color i'm just going to name this overlaying color overlay and say so we added the overlay before overlay and now and then this you see it gave it a little bit of nice feel so the overlay I'm, i might just reduce the opacity to say 70 and then for the dramatic too i'm just going to reduce it a little bit so this is what we have and it doesn't look bad honestly so this is before and now before and now before and now so more things you can keep doing is probably on the lip the lip the top of the lip feels a little bit darker than normal yes so for the lip i can add a little bit of dark color to this and just hope it turns out very well yeah so this so i can probably make it 20 so it will get to show that hey armstrong is adding colors to this so yeah this i don't think it's showing very much because of that because that's the like predominant color so one thing we can add do still is to probably add a little bit of reddish or say yellowish a bit yeah like this take it a little bit up so it will be dramatic or make it pink i don't know i just always experiment with different colors and it's too much so i can probably reduce the opacity to say 30 
still too much we do the saturation a bit and yeah that's still too much still too much still too much okay let's see this okay yeah this looks a little bit better than normal so this is good this is good even if it doesn't look totally nice to my expectation but it's not bad it's like really 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 good so yeah this is what we have and it looks like a very pretty pretty much decent color for a very dark lady you can keep the opacity for example you can keep reducing the opacity of probably the eyebrow you can just reduce the bit yeah what is this for the lip okay let's leave it at 100 for the um for this i can reduce this i'm just trying to reduce it so keep your eyes on this while i'm reducing See, this is the how thick it is i can just reduce it a little bit so you can get to just blend in i mean she's dark so you need to blend in give everything this ebony color and yeah that is what i have so lastly you can then get to all these parts the part of the hair for example you can pick a color from her body yeah i pick the color from her body and just play with this play with this say make it 40 and i mean nobody really sees what is behind you know, they only see the result so you should give them something really 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 nice and beautiful done yeah so yeah that is this is basically my workflow for a dark person i mean for a dark and fair, fair person they're just different different skin tones and stuff and i think i sincerely think that is one of the things you should do on a dark person don't go around using very bright colors and stuff and then for the body it looks like here is a little bit off one of the things you can do is use one of these dramatic colors or the overlay colors you used for example this reddish dark red select the brush tool for example and just paint over this i think this is too much so i can make it 20 and paint over this so you see very good very good and very very nice and very beautiful now for the shirt for this i mean this is like a whole lot of work it's like a whole lot of work especially because it is very irregular but that's going to be a, a tutorial for another day but for now this is what we we'll have lastly one of the things you can do to make it pop up is to add your shadows and highlights so i'm going to duplicate this with ctrl j and then probably name this highlights layer I'm going to the next video is going to be about shadows and highlights because that is one of the biggest tricks I've learned. So I'm going to go to I'm going to choose the bone. Yeah, the bone too. And at that 50 is too much. I can make it 20 and blend this. Okay. Let's make it 15. And then blend this. Well, I mean she's dark, but try not to make her like overly dark. You can still make it dark, but I mean not the 12 o'clock dark say this say the 6 30 pm dark or the 5 or the 7 o'clock dark not the 11 30 pm if that makes any sense so you can do that and uh, for the highlight this picture already has a lot of nice highlights so there's not much you can do uh, i'm just going to add a little bit of highlight to this place instead of the normal bone it's going to be dodge now and then just add highlights to this place so add highlight to this part say the part of the eyes i mean she's dark so you should make her look charming like a proper brown, brown skin girl brown skin girl yeah something like that so this yeah this is good so this is like literally good a, a lot of persons asked me they said the only one i've ever done was the one with chadwick boozman and they think it was it was way too fast and stuff and yeah so that's what I, that's why I dedicated the whole lot of time for this. And personally, I think since we are most of most of the clients we get to work for, most of the times we get to smudge people, they are usually black people. So I mean, why not a black a, a for the black movement? You know, you know, why not a black tutorial instead of a very white guy, a very fair lady and stuff? So yeah, this is what we have so somehow this is nice you can just add dramatic highlight that's one of the things i do dramatic highlights so dramatic highlights somehow somehow just is the icing in the cake you know it just makes everything beautiful yeah there's there was a quote i saw and i posted it on my whatsapp group and by the way if you've not joined my whatsapp group you can still i mean whatsapp has a very big threshold so you can join my whatsapp group the quote said to live a creative life you must first give away the 
um, ability to to think you are wrong or something but it just basically said i can't remember the exact words but it just basically said to live a very creative life you stop thinking you are wrong you must first i don't know i posted it on my whatsapp group you should check it out you should really really check it out i remember one of my best quotes of all times if you are if you are watching this video what do you think my best quote of all time is Since simplicity is the ultimate sophistication so what i'm basically doing just smudging and blending and that so this is what we have and she looks like all those things you do on this and it's nice you know so somehow you might say it does it looks like art it doesn't look like art there are a lot of a little bit of tweak you can do with your selective color you can probably just tweak it a little bit yeah something like this when you there's a way you tweak it and probably add a little bit of magenta say minus four and yeah something like this so what i'm doing is say before and now it doesn't look like too much but trust me it is it makes a lot of difference so what i'm basically doing is to make it um have this a little bit of cartoonish feel and yeah so this is what i have so i'm going to save it and then when you want to use the background you should try using a background that now for the picture this is what the picture look like so what the picture came with so i'm just going to select a background with her skin color i'm going to select this and then i'll put a background well it looks way too saturated there so what this is what i'm going to do i'm going to select a color around here yeah a cocoa color this is one of the things that always works so i'm going to select a color like this looks very normal i'll select a blue yeah select then come up to this saturated and just give a color right above it now the background is making her look like she's way too saturated you can just keep tweaking and keep doing that and probably with this saturation when you feel like it's too much you can just probably come to hue and saturation i read the saturation a little bit for this saturation a little bit and boom you have a beautiful lid so before saturation and now you see it's the saturation just somehow makes it look very realistic and yeah I think that's that so that is that and if you enjoyed this video tell me you liked it and please don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you are not watching this video on youtube please don't forget to drop a thumbs up you should check out what i finally got to post on instagram you are going to be blown away because i'm going to take my time to make this a whole lot better so this is i'm sugar signing out drop a comment i love you bye